So I have some really big plans for today's video. We're finally gonna go ahead and mutate some Argies and make Nova, our modded Argie, from Primal Fear, except, you know, in vanilla. We're gonna do it here. Uh, so these are the amazing stats that we have from all the Argies that I tamed probably like a year ago. I'm not even gonna lie. I, I think I even remember recording the episode when I was going around taming a bunch of Argies. These are all the best stats, and um, yeah, we haven't really touched this stuff in like over a year. Uh, so we're gonna be going ahead and using those, and then also uh, we have a really good saddle blueprint. Um, 127 armor is not bad, but they are quite expensive, especially in terms of hide. Oh my god, the hide is always such a pain, man. How much hide do I have up here? There's like 12,000 a piece, and I have 25 hide over 100,000. I should have crafted something that cost 25 hide. Huh. Anyway, so yeah, that's the plan, and then we're gonna head on over to Crystal Isles, hunt down everything that I need to fight the Crystal Queen, which is the giant wyvern boss, and I have never fought this boss legitimately. I did like a showcase video when that stuff first came out, and I do feel like it is necessary to at least kill this thing before um, Lost Island comes out, which is coming out in December. So yeah, that's the plan for today's video. Guys, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. Really just help me out, I do appreciate it. And uh, thanks for all the support lately, honestly, I, I, whenever I mention that you should subscribe to the channel, a lot of people do, so I'm just gonna mention it. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and do it. You're definitely gonna wanna be here for all the Lost Island stuff and this really big project that hopefully is coming out at the start of December. We'll see. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, prepare all these Archies and hopefully have this done in probably like a week, which is when you'll see me next. So, we're on the other side of the mutation stacking, and here are the RGs. First of all, this is an unimprinted one. It's a baby, obviously, as you can see, so obviously it's not leveled, but check out those stats. For the mutations, I did manage to get uh, 20 stacked up on the health, 10 on the stam, and then 20 on the melee. Ignore the mutation counter right there. Obviously, I had to breed in the colors, so it messes it up. But uh, yeah, these stats are pretty amazing. Now, right here, we have a version of that, except it's imprinted. So obviously, those stats jump up by quite a bit. Stamina never jumps up with imprints. Neither does uh, oxygen as well. But uh, yeah, that was uh, that's a nice little boost right there. And then... This is a leveled one right here, and it's also Nova. This is going to be our main RG right here. So I pumped 23 levels into the health, which brought it up to just 20k, basically. And then the rest of the levels so far have went into melee. That's 44, and that brought it up to like 1800. So this thing's pretty amazing. I might actually at some point pump in some levels into the stamina. I don't know if I actually will or not. We'll see. But uh, yeah, these Archies are pretty fantastic. Let me just show you it real quick. So first of all, check out those color regions if you're interested and here is what they look like oh my god you're beautiful you're so beautiful we just gotta have to gamma up i don't know what's up with the lighting i just can't ever get good lighting in here for some reason but anyway yeah this is nova i think i did a pretty good job oh my god hang on a second do i have one oh i do i got an idea i got an idea let's check out and see what this thing would look like as a normal rg because you know dermises uh i'm not gonna put it there we'll put it over here dermises don't work with X creatures or R creatures. Uh, maybe they do with Aberrant, I can't remember. Um, so let me quickly just chuck this Dermis onto here. So it's basically gonna make it look like a normal RG. And oh my God, that looks pretty spot on. Except it's an X one that I have, but that is pretty spot on. Here's the side-by-side -side comparison. As you can see, the feet on our new Nova are not mutated. That's because they don't have a region. I don't know why, but for some reason, in regular RGs, you can change the color of the feetsies, but not on the X ones. I don't know why. It's a stupid idea, and it should be changed. We should all protest or something. Uh, one thing that I love about the X RGs is like this little stripe along the eye right here. Also, the eye itself, it looks so much better than regular ones. I like the regular RGs. Don't get me wrong, but the X ones just look... I don't know. They just look like they're really dangerous. Uh, yeah, it's mainly those eyes right there. So yeah, um, that is actually really spot on. I don't know the exact colors that Nova had. Like I could look at the color regions if I go back to like an old video or something, but you know what? That's okay. Here we go anyway. Hello, Sky Mammoth. Oh my God, you're so majestic and beautiful. I need to look at you every day. Uh, so yeah, the <laughs> let's, uh, let's get down here and fight something. Maybe not a turkey though. If you want to watch me fight some turkeys, Maybe watch the last episode. Um, instead, let me go ahead and grab this Parasaur and just show you how much damage we do. Boom. 624. Yeah, all of that, like, amazing melee stats and just tons of mutations into it as well only yields that. Now, it's kind of annoying. It is what it is. We're also not mate boosted as well, obviously. Um, 
Oh my god, that's a beautiful Dodic. Wow. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. It would be great if we did a lot more damage, but here's the thing. Archies are not fighting creatures. They can be used for fighting, but they're like weight creatures. You know, they really are. Um, like, we're doing some good damage, but it, we could be doing a lot more. I will say Archies do have a pretty decent uh, attack speed as well. So here we go. Uh, we could look at like the DPS over like 10 seconds or whatever, but yeah, we, we fought like a little anky right there if i could fight something bigger i could see how many of those damage numbers appear on the screen at one time and kind of figure out how good that is but i don't know i think that archies are quite good in terms of attack speed when you actually can hit the target it's great though um but anyway yeah so next thing is i'm going to take my army of novas right here we're gonna go on over to crystal isles because we have some really important things to do oh you know what actually let me just show you uh <laughs> this saddle is the best out of the 20 yes that's right i did actually craft 20 uh ascended blueprint saddles it was very painful uh i didn't actually have to get a huge amount more hide obviously i did need to go around and, and specifically like go and kill a bunch of things so it didn't really take a huge huge amount of time um but yeah we are we are very very low on hide right now not zero but quite low i didn't want to leave myself completely dry right there so we got like sixteen thousand. i do need to eventually try to make a proper farm for hide and we may do that pretty soon but anyway um yeah we're gonna head on over to crystal isles now oh it's also worth mentioning if did you guys <laughs> he just pooped as i was going by i almost got hit by it wow okay i felt the air get warm but i didn't know what it was okay cool i was about to say <laughs> if you guys are wanting to know all about mutations and everything uh i do have an amazing guide it's up in the top right hand corner right now um yeah watch that it's got like a million views now it's insane all right so i've literally only been over here for a few minutes and oh my god that was an awful idea okay let me get ahead of them here oh dude that is so crazy looking at all those guys i've already found a uh, an alpha crystal wyvern which is one of the things that we need to kill um i didn't know they could spawn over here although maybe it flew from the trench but that would be weird because i initially checked the trench and didn't see anything in there actually the whole trench was empty so it's kind of weird uh what are you guys doing why did they all fly down like that that was strange uh let's see if we can kill this thing with my giant pack of archies that definitely cannot catch up to it oh my god this is awful although maybe now can we kill it we're doing 830 damage now that we're mate boosted as well that's crazy look at this <laughs> it's just a giant swarm of archies they can't catch up to it ah oh, that's awful do you think i can net it i probably can't net it it would be dumb to try though maybe no i don't think i'll be able to uh let me let me try and get in here see if i could do some damage <laughs> it's only like a level 24 so it shouldn't actually take too long to kill although it is hitting quite a lot of targets at the same time and gaining blood from them so maybe uh okay i know it's, it's really hurt right now i was about to say maybe it will die but or maybe it will heal itself but no it's probably gonna die okay come on we're almost there look at that though look at the freaking blood effect i love that so much the blood wyverns are so cool we definitely need to do some more um you know wyvern breeding i, I do have it in the in the plans uh, oh there we go okay who oh crap who got the the reward for that <laughs> i don't even know we're gonna have to find out but yeah uh wyvern breeding's totally in my uh to-do list but obviously um you know that list is really long and also wyvern breeding's really difficult because finding super high level eggs with really good stats is not the most easy thing to do just immediately so yeah i'll get it done eventually though okay it's been a while since i killed one of these guys so i'm not actually even sure what they give i know that they give the primal crystal right what else do they give 17 of those not bad and then one talent oh my god that means how many of those do i need i need five of those to do the alpha boss that's uh that's a little bit uh that's expensive yeah that's expensive i only need 30 of these crystals so i think we should be good on that um but yeah no that's super expensive in terms of uh the actual talents i thought that they'd give more than one up but i guess that would be stupid right yeah it definitely would be stupid well now we just gotta find more of them and kill a bunch of other regular ones uh we got an egg in there maybe i'll grab that I'm trying to think of the best way to kill these guys and i reckon it's probably gonna be the shadow main uh we just gotta actually target them oh there we go got some of them cool all right now we take them out oh ho, ho, absolutely destroyed and ult and can we ult on you as well oh oh that didn't kill you though that did all right let's see if this egg is already spoiled probably is 
Uh, no, this is new. Cool. I can actually use this egg now to aggro all the rest of them and kill them quicker. That is going to help out a lot. Oh, speaking of aggroing, seems like I've already done that. Uh, where did you go? Okay, I need to ult on you. Boom. Oh, you're still alive. And now you're not. Oh my god, that was a 180. Wait, 270 is the max level for them. Never mind. <laughs> Got excited. I just see 180. I'm like, oh, that's the number. <laughs> but no, we're good. Uh, that's the rock elemental. We don't want to fight him. What is up with that weird rainbow effect on that guy's wing? Is that normal? Oh, maybe it is. Oh my god, that thing's crazy looking. Is that normal? I don't think I've ever noticed that before if it is. Is this like a freaking rainbow wyvern? Like, what are you? I did check all the spots when I arrived here, so... Oh, that's actually... Yeah, that's an okay egg. That's not bad. I do still have that 270 egg, by the way, that we got in that episode when we were over here stealing eggs. Um, still holding on to that for a specific video that I've been wanting to make for a long time, but luck is a major factor uh to make that a or to make that video so yeah it's not something i could just pull out of my ass basically oh another egg 36 okay i think i've pretty much killed all the crystal wyverns i think that may be time to go out of render distance and hope that more spa oh my god oh where did you guys come from what oh he must have been over there in the desert they are everywhere man this is scary there's a crap ton of crystals over here what the hell these guys are everywhere. It's crazy. I haven't even went down a render distance yet. <gasps> That's a 270. No, I just killed it. I didn't even realize I'm just attacking everything. Oh, I hope that thing laid an egg. That could mean another max level. That would be great. I think that was a blood as well. <gasps> yes. Oh my God. Yes. Oh, well, it's this one. <laughs> Oh, dude, that's amazing. Oh, now we have to face the consequences of what I've just done. But that is amazing. Oh, my God. That makes... Uh, that means I have... Okay. That makes the, the video that I have planned a little bit uh, easier. Some people may be able to tell what I'm talking about, but that is, that is so useful. By the way, I've actually mostly stopped grabbing the talents, mainly because they stopped going directly into the inventory of my creature, my Shadow Main, which is super hurt right now. Um, but yeah, oh my god, that's so amazing. It's freaking 270. I wonder if it laid more than one egg though Clearly it was the 270 that I killed. I think its body is somewhere around here I don't really know which one it is. It might be this one. Oh, yeah, that is it right there and it's an amber Yeah, we also killed a 270 um blood one, but I did kill that amber. So oh my god, that's amazing. I am so happy about that. Okay, so I've got everything I need in terms of the talons and the crystals. And uh, the next thing that we're gonna need is of course the artifacts. And here's the very first one, the artifact of the crag. And it's located right here. Next up, we've got the artifact of the gatekeeper and it's right here. It's kind of hard to read, but this is the artifact of the destroyer down in this little lake right here. And here's the artifact of the pack right beside this cool looking dragon statue. Right here, we have the artifact of the shadows. Here is the artifact of the lost, which I think looks really cool. And the last artifact is the stalker and it's right here. Okay, so here we are with all of the Archies and two shadow mains. Yeah, I didn't want to have to bring them, but I really do feel like we might need them. You see, the Archies do some good damage, but they're not insane. And this thing has a lot of health, and I just don't think we'd be able to beat it without something extra. So it's unfortunate, but I'm biting off way more than I could chew with just 20 Archies. Anyway, uh, let's see. Let's hop on to Dagger here. Um, we can actually go ahead and boost all the Archies if we want, right? It does boost them. It's kind of hard to tell if they're being boosted because they don't have like the obvious little flare on them like the shadow mains do. Let me see, I guess I could be able to tell by... Uh, they are, yeah, look at that, okay. Fair enough, I'm not sure if that's actually useful for them, but cool, at least we could do that. Uh, so you'll see on my hotbar, I do have some soups and, or some, what do you call them, not soups, some uh, Healy Brews and uh, some Shadow Steak Saute, so I can basically shotgun at this thing. Look at my shadow mane just like legging it in right there. <laughs> All right, let's get another roar in here. Let's try and get this little pack bonus going. Oh yeah, we're doing some good damage. Holy crap. So yeah, the Archies, you know, look at the damage that they do. Like it's good, it's good. It's not great, 
It's not great. <laughs> I need this extra edge for sure. Um, it is unfortunate, but yeah, just needs to be done. Uh, so you'll see actually in the nest right here, um, the there's a bunch of eggs and they're like wobbling around as if they're about to hatch or whatever. Uh, that is something that you're going to have to worry about when you're in this boss fight because uh, they actually hatch and then they become, you know, wyverns and then those things grow really, really quick and um, basically start flying around and, and they can shoot their, their breath at you as well. So not fun. Not fun at all. I just realized actually there's water in this arena. <gasps> Here we go. Spinos could be good in this one. I'm not sure if they're super amazing though. To be honest, like what are the strats for this arena? I have never done this boss fight, so I don't even know. Boom. Oh, you know what? We need to do, we need to, <laughs> we need to do another roar. I almost forgot. Uh, need to make sure that I'm doing that constantly. Um, I don't think that actually boosts up the damage on the Archies at all. What does the exact thing say? Stamina and Torpor recovery. Movement speed is increased. The movement speed actually might help. If I can boost them up and uh, send them in. I'm curious if I can... Oh my god, I'm so fast. I'm curious if I can stun um, the uh, the queen. That would be cool. One thing I actually haven't noticed so far and I, I'd be very curious about is... Uh, oh, okay. I thought they'd be around quicker. Can the... I can't eat these bodies. So can the Argies eat them to heal? Is that a thing? Uh, oh, what? I can't stun you? That makes no sense. Oh, wow, they're doing some work up there. Damn. They got it, like, against the barrier, I think. That's cool. But, yeah, um... I can't eat the bodies, so... Obviously, the Argies then can't do their healing factor, right? Can I stun you? I can hit you with it. It doesn't stun you. Oh, my God, she's already landed again? Damn! Oh, dude, we're... Yeah, this is it. We got it, for sure. Uh, I should have ran over to grab some water some like water buff whatever it's called but uh it's fine let's just uh let's get in here with the extra damage just absolutely destroy this thing oh if there's a bunch of minions around i can uh i can do my um <laughs> my ult and then you know immediately have a charge if i kill a minion that would be great wow we're only like three minutes into this and we've already got it down by a third shadow mains are just ridiculous man these things are they are on a whole other level like it's honestly insane how how much of a game changer they actually are come on everybody in is everybody in here yeah oh my god what the hell are they doing back there get in i can't even see where my, where my other oh there it is okay i was wondering where you were <laughs> all right oh then yeah now fair enough i i will 100 percent agree you know, it would have been cooler to just do this with RGs and to even be riding on an RG, but no. Like, look at the damage. What is that? Like, 359 is what they do. Uh, I mean, obviously, me being on one means a little bit of extra damage from that one, but, like, just in general, don't think we'd be able to do it. Not at all. Uh, all right, let me try and get them boosted up. Oh, I already did that one, right? The roar. I think that actually does work on them, and if they're faster, then they're able to catch up to her quicker. Maybe lock her in again. That's cool. I love the colors on these Argies, though. Like, it's so insane. Oh, my God. They are wrecking her up there. They are ruining her. Try and shotgun her a little bit. Uh, Gotta probably not really shoot her from the side. Even with the uh, lower spread on the Shadow Stake, it's still not a great idea. What the hell? That one didn't even hit at all. Get off of me. Stop that. Oh, my God. The babies are hatching. They're trying to eat me. Get out of here. Vermin. Can I stun you at all? No. So the stun just doesn't work. And neither, like, you can't you can't harvest the corpses as well. Like, what is this? Why? All right, you should probably follow me. All right. Ooh, watch out for that. I don't know if, I actu if I've actually, like, been hit by that so far. Um, it's kind of hard to tell. Let's do that. We get you hit with some thorn mail. I don't know if we did. Oh, you know what? Maybe I could just wait here and have it like come down to us. <gasps> oh, the Archies just barely missed it right there. That would have been cool if they all just swarmed onto it. Look at that. All right, let's uh, let's get a roar going here. It's about to come around. Watch out for that. You know what? Maybe if we if we can like go over here, maybe I don't know. Huh. 
Hang on. Ooh, there we go. Oh, okay. That's some good damage. This one over here is kind of like in the corner. There's like two rocks on the other side. So I was kind of thinking maybe the barrier, we might be able to like trap her in here easier with the barrier. I don't know. It's like we're right up against the, the side here. And if that cliff is over there, she probably can't fly in that direction. And oh, she's landed. Okay. Wow. Okay. That, uh, that was surprising. Did not expect that immediately. My God, this thing is basically dead. I think it's going to take off before it's fully dead. So it's like another stage boss fight, which I love. Like these ones are a lot more fun than, you know, like just sending everything in. And like, not that there's anything wrong with that. You know, I don't mind the Brood Mother boss fight or like the Mega Pithecus of the dragon. I think the dragon would be ridiculous if it was a stage boss fight, but I just think that these ones are just a little bit more interesting to do. And there's a, more of a challenge to them as well. Um, I don't know. Here we go. Come on. Uh, let's get a little buff for everybody. Don't really know if that's helping, but I feel like it is. And I kind of want to do it. Boom. Okay. Need to try and get some of these ults onto the minions. They're not really coming in here, though. Let's just drop an ult right now. Oh, there we go. I hit something with that. Killed it. Nice. Oh, yeah, she's going down soon. Oh, wow, okay, she's already starting to fly. All right. Yeah, this is working out, man. This is, uh... Oh, wait, wait, wait. What the hell is that? What is happening? What the hell? Why are those, like, shadow wyverns? Obviously, something's happened. Like, how are they like this? What is... Ah, oh, I'm so confused. I think maybe did my camera like go outside the world and that's why that happened. I don't really even know I don't know how to describe where we were or what those things were But something bad happened <laughs> Oh man, that was funny Okay, yeah, this is like the perfect spot this one over here. Oh, I missed damn it That sucks. Yeah, uh, this spot over here Just if you have a ground creature just get her to come over here <laughs> Because <laughs> the RGs will just swarm her. Oh, man. All right. Come on. We're hardly hitting at all here. Yeah, this is going quite well, actually. I'm so glad that I brought the shadow mains. Like, I'm doing so much damage. I can tell I'm mostly killing this. Like, I'm probably almost on par with the RG damage. Like, I feel like we might be able to do the RGs, but it might just be too close. And honestly, I'm not going to gamble away 20 good saddles and a lot of time and effort just, you know, to prove a point. <laughs> Especially if we do lose. Like, I don't mind losing sometimes. If it happens, it happens. It sucks, but whatever. But, uh, you know, if I can avoid losing, that, that would be great. Like, I don't think I'm better than anybody. I just don't like losing my hard hide, hide like harvesting, I guess. <laughs> That's really what this is. But yeah, like the creatures are replaceable. It's just a pain, obviously. It takes me some time to do it, but you know, totally replaceable. Uh, saddles, no. That, uh, that's a bit too much work. She's going down soon. Look at this. Oh my God, she's so close. I'm gonna let the RGs kill her. They'll actually be able to kill her as well, which is good. Look at that. She's on a sliver of health. The only way of her healing right now is her shooting us with a bunch of blood. But uh, we're good. We're golden. Oh, I accidentally just killed her. I didn't mean to. God damn it. Well, that's good. At least I have the stuff on uh, on this one right here. Let me, uh, let me go ahead and pick you guys up. Let me actually just pick everybody up if I can. Uh, oh, Dermis, Dermis, Dermis. Oh my god, what the hell did we do to her? Oh no. <laughs> okay, wait, how much health did you have? Yeah, basically a million. That That's too much. <laughs> that's way too much. Ah, I can't even move. All right, let me... I don't need to pick him up, obviously. Oh, the body just disappeared. That was weird. Why did the body disappear? Usually that doesn't happen for bosses. Like, they're always there. Um, These things are so beautiful. Did I get them all? I feel like I mostly got them all. Uh, yeah, pretty sure we did. Cool. Uh, yeah, that um, that went kind of well. Look at that. These guys took around like 5k damage. Oh, don't be in the inventory just in case. Please don't wipe my character. No, we're good. We're good. Um, 
yeah, they took like 5k, some of them at least. Um, oh, that one there took a little bit more. It took like 7k. Yeah, some of them took like around 6 to 7k. It's not too bad. I think that's the worst one I've seen so far. Some of them are also like this one here and the other one there. Uh, 3k. So you weren't really in on the battle then, I guess. Let's take a little look at this flag. I haven't seen this thing in a long time. Uh, I do remember really liking it, though. Oh, that's a cool one. Yeah, I like that. That is awesome. Uh, so yeah, for the for the trophy, I'm not gonna try to like place that down right now. But uh, yeah, it looks exactly like that. It doesn't have the cool little crown on it. Kind of disappointing. I imagine if I bring this over to Valgiro, it's going to ruin the Dermis because apparently the Arc Devs decided that that would be a good idea for that to happen nowadays. So yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Maybe I'll just store it away over here or something. But uh. Yeah, guys, uh, that's probably going to be it for this video. Uh, it might be a little bit shorter than I would have planned, actually, to be honest. But uh, it took a lot of time and effort to make this one. So if you guys have enjoyed it, go ahead and do me a favor. Hit the like button, subscribe, and do all that good stuff if you want to see some awesome videos coming up very, very soon. Um, yeah, it's going to be great when we have all that stuff. And also uh, Lost Island coming out as well. So lots of great things on the horizon. Great times to subscribe. And uh, yeah, catch you the next one.